Hi, this is Kerry, the Tantric Vegan. I'm making some vegan gravy. Now, because I don't use onion or garlic, I tend to like making my own gravy from scratch. Well, I like making everything from scratch anyway. So I'll put a tablespoon of olive oil in the preheated pan. And I've got some tomato and some red pepper that I'm going to just saute a bit in there. you can leave out the I'm gonna move you down here now if you want you can move leave out the chunky bits of vegetable um, because I don't use bouillon or stock cubes or anything I and I'm using this gravy for a base for some cottage pie later on but it's just as nice used as a gravy to pour over a Sunday roast or vegetables and rice or whatever um, so I've got some paprika, I'll put in about half a teaspoon, this is quite a hot one, so you really need to do that to taste. So if you want a smooth gravy, you can do this without adding the chunky bits of vegetable, and you can add a tablespoon of tomato puree instead of the tomato. Because I'm gluten free, I've got some tamari here and I'm going to put a tablespoon of that in. In macrobiotic cooking, we, t we cook our soy sauce and our salt for 10 minutes. We're supposed to, I don't always do that. But um, that's about half a teaspoon of salt, uh, Himalayan sea uh, pink salt. already smelling super delicious and what I have here is a heap tablespoon of corn flour and cold water I'm waiting for that to heat up. This is uh, yeast extract. Uh, it's really, I know a lot of people don't like it, but it, it really adds a good flavor to the gravy. You can use Marmite if you have that on hand or any other brand. This is, um, this is one I get from the vegan co-op we have. And these are fortified with B12, so they're a good source of that. I've got about half a teaspoon there. It's quite a strong flavor, so we don't want to put too much in. It's very umami in its flavor. So we just stir this and let the corn flour thicken. And then the other things will dissolve in there as well. Now what else I'm going to put in, and you might think that's a bit strange, but trust me, it's really nice, is a tablespoon of jam as a sweetener. I've got an apricot jam here. This works really well. You could use any sweetener really, but it does add a very nice flavor. This is a no added sugar brand of jam. That is looking good. Right, let's turn it down to a simmer. It's thickening nicely. I 
got a probably half a teaspoon of ground mixed pepper and then I'm going to add just a, a capful I guess that's about two teaspoons or may, maybe not even say one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar just to give it a um, slight tangy taste so we've got the, we've got our sweet we've got our salty we've got our sour If you drink alcohol, it's quite nice to add some wine to this. I don't drink alcohol, but I would put wine in something like this for the flavor because alcohol cooks away anyway. And you do get a very nice flavor with that. But I don't have any at home, so just do it without. And then lastly, I have some fresh parsley, which I'm just going to chop in. You can use dried if it's easier, or you can use any herbs you like. I'm using the flat leaf parsley here. I want to cut it quite finely. These have got really big leaves. All my vegetables are organic. Most of them from our local co-op. They have a farm and they grow the stuff mostly locally. So that's it. Very easy. And you can cook the parsley a bit more if you want, but I'm quite happy with it like that. But does that look delicious or what? That's really nice over a jacket potato as well. I'm going to move you back up here for the taste test. It's going to be super hot. that's really good I might just add a touch more tamari and really the thing to do when you're making food is experiment yourself and make it to your own taste because everyone likes things a bit different some people might like it more salty some people might like it more sweet it's really very individual and i just wing it i just <laughs> chuck in whatever kind of goes in there but i wouldn't have cooked like that you know 20 years ago i i think some experience is necessary for that Mm. yes absolutely delicious so that keeps in the fridge as well very well i would probably use keep it for four or five days oh that paprika is quite spicy uh, but like i said i'm going to use this as a base for my cottage pie later on so i'm going to pre-cook some lentils and chickpeas which i've had soaking for about eight hours and then use this gravy as a sauce for that and then i'm going to put on the top some mashed up potato and butternut so 
Be peace.